badly in race number four, uh, gate four. But they set and they're racing away. United Council was slow to begin as at the back end early on. One of the early leaders is Copper Mist. That goes off to show the way racing up there is Sukhumvit along the inside. Followed further back in the field by Quartermain racing back in third. Then came Mastership along the rail followed by Barbaresco. And about five lengths at the back of the field is United Council. Ten lengths off the leader. Down the side of the track, they just passed the 1,200, heading towards the 1,000, and out in front is Copper Mist. Leads the way from in second, Sukhumvit, the pink cap in the middle. Outside of them is Quartermain. Further back is Barbaresco. Mastership is along the inside, and United Council stole the trailer as detached from the main bunch. Races 9, 10 lengths off the leader. They're at the top of the dogleg strip, 700 metres left to go, and Sukhumvit comes up to join uh, Copper Mist in front. Followed further back in the field by Barbaresco, is hooked to the outside and looking to move in early. Further back is Mastership, and then came Quartermain. 400 to go, and Barbaresco now comes for to stake a claim down the inside. Sukhumvit travels with it. Further back is Copper Mist, and then came Mastership behind that. Coming down to the last 200 metres, Barbaresco set sail for home goes four five lengths clear mastership is on the outside trying to run on further back in the field is Sukhumvit but it's Barbaresco going strongly a third victory for Pierre Stratum this afternoon three in a row Barbaresco wins from mastership then came Sukhumvit United Council further back Here's the head on replay. Barbaresco is in the striped cap. The grey horse under Pierre Stratum now drifts to the inside of the track. Mastership is just on its outside. The light blue colours moving in, but Barbaresco will go too strongly in the closing stages. For Jan Janssen van Furen, Mrs. R.M. Sugalem, Jared and Lawrence Werners, and Pierre Stratum. So very well done to all of them. 1285 is how they cross the line. Right, uh, Pierre Stratum riding a treble today. We're not, I don't know if we're going to see that too often. But Pierre, nice pick-up ride this. Yeah, obviously shows you when you pick up, pick up rides like these, you can ride winners, you know. You but this is probably going to be my last treble. <laughs> Thank you to Jan and uh, obviously to Lawrence. Uh, like I said earlier, haven't ever, well, I haven't had a winners for them for like such a long time. Can't even remember anymore. Now all of a sudden, three winners, uh, like a day. I know it's raining, terrible out there, but. See when it's always like it. Yeah, just a quick one. Um, I was watching the race. He took a hold of you coming around the turn. Yeah. You know, I don't know how some of these jocks have ridden him over 2000. Um, he's scary because you get on uh, on the heels of another horse and you expect the horse now to start dropping a bit. And But this guy, he just wants to go over them. So uh, luckily it's a mile. Luckily it's an inside track. They go fast enough. Um, Muzi obviously was stuck on the fence. And uh, I don't think they went fast enough. So he pulled off. And when he pulled off, I pushed one of the other jocks out the way, yeah. and uh, this horse right. just, just took, uh, took it up right next to him and all behind him, and uh, yeah, then he kicked away. See it again or Barbaresco? No, see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I wanted to see what he's at. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, that was just a bit of a joker. But, uh, Johan. That's how you want your horse to come back after a bit of a break. That's how you want him to win. Uh, he never got punished. Pierre just gave him a nice, easy race. And uh, I think he's going to come out of this, this race very well. Yeah, um, that was the whole idea. It's just to find the right race for him. You know, it's hard to go into pinnacles and you've got to carry top weight. Mm -hmm. Rather carry top weight than against these type of horses. And um, listen, he was always going to be a bit strong because... When you run against a slightly fresh, first of all, and you run against a slightly weak horse, obviously there's not enough speed. So... I actually thought we were going to be in front, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, everything worked out well. We had a nice gallop into the charity mile. Charity mile's five weeks away. He won't run again before then. We'll give him one more grass gallop, maybe 10 or 12 days out. And um, that will be it. I always thought he's a tough horse that probably, at the high field, is probably better over a mile. Um, because he pulls hard. And listen, his mother never quite stayed. She ran a couple of places over group races over 2000. But she was, she was also at a very best at a mile, maybe 1800. So, yes, anyway, nice day. They started off... 
Henny Kraling, oh, I did a lot of work for me, said Bob Oreska's our best. Fortune's been writing a bit of work for me, said Inspector James is our best. <laughs> I said Nettleton's our best. So we had nice runners all day. Just Absolutely. started off roughly, we had a TCO2 scratching, anyway, is what it is. And then Inspector James, I thought, would go on very close. So anyway, it's all's well that ends well. But you're on a, a, a race like, I mean, a horse like this over 1800 at Turfentine with the right race, he could get an 18 quite easy, you know? I would think so if there's enough speed. He, just, he needs to learn to relax. Um, he's not quite learned to race yet. He's quite a strong horse. He's a keen horse and he loves racing. That's why he, he overdoes it. So if you get a good pace and horse learns to relax, I wouldn't be worried about an 18. But um, obviously we're going to go charity tomorrow. Obviously we're going to go summer cup. We have to. It's just awesome. the money's there. So, um, yeah, just nice to get the get the season off to a good start. Six million reasons to go to the Summer exactly Cup. Exactly that, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So, yeah, well done to, like I said, well done to Lawrence and, and Rakesh. Um, he's a partner in this horse. And, um, yeah, just very happy. Nice day. Yeah, listen, uh, you had nice runners, and it's a, it's a nice day, a nice day to have a couple of... Yeah. yeah, thank you. Right, yeah. Like we said, uh, we'll go, it was only uh, 15 minutes ago when I spoke to you, and you're back in the winner's box. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. Um, congrats again to Johan. To Lawrence, to Rakesh in this one, he's a partner there. Well done to them. Uh, the weather was terrible, but the racing was exciting and uh, fantastic results all around. Thanks. Yeah, like I said earlier on, uh, congratulations to Four Racing and the jocks. Um, they, they went to plan B, they took the rail down and they went to the natural position. And thank goodness we've got through the meeting. The right horse has won and uh, so far so good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before we go, uh, a winning, the winning groom, Back again, Clement, there we go. Another 1,500 rand for the winning groom, well done. Uh, thanks very much to World Sports Betting. Uh, to the winning Jogi Striker, well done to him. <laughs> there we go. A winning yard, quick treble from Pia, Barbaresco. Um, definitely a horse you're gonna worry, uh, look after in the charity mile. Um, he had a very good race today, didn't get punished. Uh, Pia gave him a nice uh, quiet ride and I think he's gonna be a big run in the charity mile.